Yeah, make some noise. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, uh, man. Feels good to be back. Everything's uh, normal again, right? It, business is back. Let's give it up for that. <laughs> business is back. Let's make some noise. Uh, yeah, and no, I, just, I just went to the mall. I got circumcised at Claire's. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's great. Everything's back, you know. We can, we can finally get back to doing the things we love. You know, we can finally go back to raves, right? That's exciting. You know, I'm really excited about that. You know, are, are you guys excited about that? We can go back to raves, you know? Um, yeah, I like doing this thing at raves where I, uh, I set up a big long table in the back and I just try to recruit kids on MDMA to join the US Army. Um, Yeah, you guys ever like jack off to something on Instagram and just immediately report it? <laughs> so is, uh, is anybody anybody here uh, anybody here uh, boyfriend and girlfriend? Anybody here boyfriend and girlfriend? Yeah, you two. You you guys are. Yeah, you guys are boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's cool, that's cool, that's... Yeah, that's cool, that's real cool. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are... You guys are boyfriend and girlfriend. That's nice, that's... No, that's nice, that's nice. That's cool. No, no, that's cool, that's... I, yeah, I, I used to... I used to be like you guys once. Uh, You know, I was, I was in a relationship about this time last year, and uh, I'm no longer in a relationship. Um, but uh, it's cool because it gives me more time to drink beer with my cousin. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I used to like being a, you know, being a single you know, sex, sex guy or whatever. Right? And I, was, I don't know. I don't, I hate, I, I don't care for it anymore. I don't really care. I don't really, uh, kind of, it's whatever. I don't know. It, I, I dare you to try to fuck me after the show. Um, you know, I, no, I used to love, I used to love it being, being a single, you know, being a single sex guy. You know, now I, I hate it. Now I hate it. I hate it. And I, I say this by the I say this is like a big, big Hollywood comedian, right? You know, I, I you know, I, I can't even imagine what it's like if you're just some guy in this crowd, no girlfriend. You know, Jesus Christ. You know, can't even imagine what that's what that's like. But you know, I, you know, I hate it. I hate it now. And, you know, I used to love it, but like I, I don't know, cause I. I did the, I, you know, I did enough introspection to realize that, you know, I don't know, I used to be one of these guys who, uh, I used to be one of these guys who, you know, straight guys love to be like, oh man, I didn't have sex in high school and that's trauma, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but, like, I worked through it and, uh, you know, I've, I've had, I've, you know, I've had enough sex now to realize that uh, it's mostly just logistics, right? Like, you're having sex sometimes, but you're mostly just like typing on the phone and typing on the computer, you know? And sometimes you have sex, but you're mostly just like typing on the phone, typing on the computer. And uh, like at a certain point, I just felt like I was like doing tech support for women with personality disorders, you know? Um, Mental health is all around us, and that's beautiful. Uh, you know, I, I want you guys to know that I love mental health, especially if you're a woman. Uh, especially if you're a woman in this crowd, I want you to know that I love mental health. Uh, I think mental health is uh, awesome. My favorite holiday is actually uh, Mental Health Awareness Day. Uh, I, forget, I forgot when this was exactly, but I remember a few months ago on Instagram, it was, it was Mental Health Awareness Day. And I saw like a couple women uh, post like, hey, uh, hey, it's Mental Health Awareness Day, right? And uh, you know, hey, uh, today is me it's Mental Health Awareness Day. And then I, I was just in the comments like, you're acting insane right now. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're being crazy. 
Uh, do we have any? Do any? Do we have any like straight guys here with painted fingernails? <laughs> this isn't a trap or anything. This is a yes. Oh, well, uh, cool, cool. Uh, this is not a trap or anything. Uh, what's your What's your name? Max. Max. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, it, Max is a sexual predator. Uh, <laughs> I. I see right through your ruse. I see right through your ruse to get she slash they pussy. Okay? I see right through it. I see right through it. No, it's a, it's a, it's not okay, you know? If a straight guy has colorful nails, they're, they're guilty of gray area sexual misconduct, right? Like, it's like how, like for every, colorful nail every you know like how when like a guy murders people he'll get like a teardrop tattoo <laughs> like every colorful nail on a straight guy's hand that's like that's a weird date that they've been on um, you know it's not okay you know all, all you all you fellas who are uh, gay for pussy you're on notice um, <laughs> I feel like, uh, feel like, you know, summer 2020, I feel like white people didn't know how to act on the computer. Um, I think some of you might be here tonight. Uh, and that's, and that's great. I'm sure you guys did. I'm sure you guys helped so much. Um, but I, <laughs> I, I think people had the, their, you know, people had good intentions. You know, people were, you know, people were doing their best. But, you know, once, once it was like the day with the black squares, you know, folks kind of lost the thread, you know? And there were a couple days there in like late May, early June, where I saw, I saw white people with a lot of followers do this thing where they'd get on Instagram and, uh, you know, they, they would go on Instagram and they'd go, uh, hey guys, for the next 24 hours, I'm giving my platform to a black person. And then they gotta give it back, please, right? Which like, I don't know, if you have like a baby brain, you see that, you're like, oh my God, this is, a, this is an angel and a hero, what a noble gesture. If you have like a normal, normal brain or above, you should see that and be able to immediately clock it. It's like, oh, this is incredibly condescending and performative and fucking weird, right? Like, like in my own life, like if I were to hit up my friend Jamel, right? Who's my real friend, by the way, I'm not just like, you know. I'm not just like, oh, you're my friend uh, Jamel. Uh, like, if I were to hit up my friend Jamel, I'm like, hey man, you know, I've been, I've been watching the news and, uh, you know, it's, it's horrible what's happening in this country, you know, and uh, every, time, every time I turn on a screen, it's another tragic reminder of how little progress we've actually made in this country. You know, we, we live in a police state and, you know, it's, it's devastating, man. Uh, hey, I couldn't help but notice that I have more followers than you. Uh, <laughs> So if you want to hop on my account, give it a go. Here's my, here's my password, buddy. <laughs> like, if I'm him, and I'm on the receiving end of that phone call, I'm immediately getting on that account and being like, hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Brandon, not another guy. <laughs> There's one word I've been waiting to tweet for years. 